She did pretty good. Thank you. A lot better than last week. Yeah. Thank you. Matter of fact, hmm. you deserve a cheat meal. A cheat meal? Yeah. A day of good running and I deserve unhealthy eating? Exactly. <laughs> you deserve it. I want donuts. <laughs> what was my time anyway? Like, uh, minute 30, minute where, 45. Where's your phone at? In my bag. I think it was like, May 15th. Nuh-uh. Yeah. It felt lovely it's, tonight. It's pretty good. I should have been in the Olympics. Should have. I know. <laughs> Why do we have to be out here? I mean, like, every other day. I mean, you're already in the best shape of your life. <laughs> I would know, because... Uh, no, don't be nasty. We're in public. <laughs> I don't see nobody Stop. around. How's the internship going? I mean, it's going. They're still looking at me funny like I don't belong there. Like? Yeah. Like, like every time I walk in, I got a booger in my nose. Like, what the hell is she doing here? Exactly. Hater. <laughs> what about your uncle? Uh, still being hard on me as usual. No. 
know, well, that's because, you know, he knows you have all the potential to be more than just a great news reporter. Womp, 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 you sound like him. Um, thank you, but I don't really want to hear that right now, so can you pass my phone? <laughs> so bossy. You don't try to look at it. I already changed the password. Hey, someone's popular. Uh, should we look at my phone, or should we slide in your Instagram DMs and see who's in there? Uh, no, we're good. Okay, so I thought. I trust you. Ish. <laughs> my mom called me like 15 times. Is everything good? Something's wrong. Yes, Mom. What's wrong? Everything okay? Why are you crying? Babe. What? Jessica. What happened to Dave? Baby, what's wrong? Jessica! Jessica! I've seen a lot of family and friends that we hadn't seen in a while, so. I just can't believe that he's gone, though. You know? You know what's crazy? He didn't show any signs. And that night, I just kept getting the weirdest feelings, and I just kept calling him, and he just sent me the voicemail. Did they ever tell you what it really was? Because I don't believe that's what they said it was. A shot to the head. <laughs> Suicide. And what about his apartment? Do they know what they're gonna do with all this stuff? No, my parents don't even wanna go over there right now, so I told him I'll just go and pack up his stuff. As if they hadn't already cleaned him out. He did own all that photography gear, right? Yeah, thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Cameras, lenses, lights, everything else you can name. I, I don't believe Dave could actually do something like that. You know what's weird? He paid his lease like months ahead and then he put my name on it. Mm -hmm. So I told my parents I'll just stay over there for a little while. So basically I have an apartment to myself. Stop lying. I'm serious. <laughs> and you're saying that the same <laughs> She's saying that a party's gonna be happening there real soon. No, ain't no party happening no time soon. Why That's not? I can call Laura. Laura. <laughs> Laura. You just have to think about yourself, huh? Mm. I can call up a few of the cute guys that I know. Anyways, Jessica, how's the new newspaper gig going? It's not a job, because I ain't getting paid, but it's going. Yeah, that's part of being an intern. I know, but $400 I'm paying to my parents a month, and I'm working part-time at the hospital, it is not helping. Oh, speaking of work, um, people have been dropping off balloons. Cards, money. That's nice. I'm not gonna be at work for a while, so. It's a cool. I'll pick it up and bring it to you. Thank you. You know, it's actually a blessing in disguise if you think about the current situation that you're in. What do you mean by that? Well, think about it. You're staying at your brother's apartment, which means you're not with your parents. Mm -hmm. You can save up to get your own place to live. I guess. Save a little money, have a place to myself, and then maybe go full-time at the hospital, and then change my hours at the news station. I don't know, maybe it'll help. Mm -hmm. Hey, you gonna be all right. I got your back. Mm. You know if you need anything, you know where to call me. Us. She meant to say us. I know, that's why I love y'all a little bit. You love me too, you love me oh. too. You don't come on. Strange. 
Just wanted to say it's a real pleasure to meet you. Your brother spoke very high of you. And here we are. This is your brother's place, 446. This one? Yes. And uh, I just wanted to say that I'm deeply sorry for your loss. Thank you. I have a question. Sure. Did he cause any problems while he was here? Any complaints from the neighbors? No, he was, in fact, he was a perfect, outstanding tenant. Never had any complaints. And here we are. Oh, I'll take this picture. I'm okay. Um, how long do you think you might be staying? Uh, just a couple of days. A couple of days. Okay, well, here's your brother's key. Thank you. And if you need anything, I mean anything at all, I'd be more than happy to help my office. Yeah, that's office. nice. Okay, yeah, yeah great. Thank you. This apartment is super small. And Limbo is a creep. I think he wants to sleep with me. <laughs> yeah, I might let him hit it. <laughs> um, no, actually I haven't checked it out yet. Matter of fact, I'm about to go do that now, so I'll call you later. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, I love you too. Alright, talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Mr. Simmons would like to see you. For what? I don't know, but you might want to hurry up. Why is he mad? He's pretty mad. <sighs> Jessica, he's in there. Thank you. Jessica, come on in, have a seat. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Do you enjoy your internship here? Of course I do. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Because I'm getting a feeling you don't really want to be here. I do. It's, it's just a lot. The last few days, you've been late. And when you're here, it seems like you have no interest in what you're doing. No, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, out of all the interns that came through this door, you have the most potential. But honestly, I don't even think you even know your own potential. I do. It's, it's just been a lot going on that knocked me off track, but I'm back on it. I understand what you're going through. I love Dave also. He was like a son to me. But you have to understand, this is a business. I need my star player to be focused. Whatever you got going on at home, you leave it there. When you come to work, I need you to be on your A game. You understand? Yes, sir. I won't let it happen again, I promise. All right, get on out of here and get to work. Niece or not, I'll fire your ass. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Marvin. Oh, yeah, by the way, tell your mama I'm going to talk to her later about Dave, okay? Okay.
How'd it go? Still have my job done, right? I know, Laura. I thought I was about to be out of there. Now, we want to relate to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jess, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I, ju I just wanted to see if you need anything. You doing okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? I'm good, thank you. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, that's one little thing. My apartment has been like really cold, like 50 degrees or so. Right. And I haven't had the air conditioner on, nor the windows open. I don't really know what it is. Well, I, I don't want to take a look at it right now. Okay, I'll just have my boyfriend come look at it. Sure. I just thought you should know. Yeah, my boyfriend's good at this I mean, thing. I'm here. No, it's fine. It's good. Thank boyfriend. you. Boyfriend. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, Dave. What you got in here? I need you to send a maintenance man, please. So you're telling me when you woke up, the windows were open and the cabinets and drawers were pulled out? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Listen, I know what I saw. I'm not delusional. Are you sure that you didn't do it and forgot that you did? What? No, why would I do that? I don't drink or anything. I just want to know how you're going to fix it. Well, I'm going to have to check the windows from the outside and I'm going to have to change the locks. That's the best that I can do. So for right now, I'm going to have to put you on the waiting list. So you have to put me on the waiting list and check everything for me. I could have did that by myself. Sorry. You're on your own. Okay. Thank you for nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Jess? Hello? It's the landlord. 
came to check the AC unit. Take me home. That's nothing. <sighs> so, what you got up for the rest of the day? Not too much. I met this cute guy and he wants to take me out, so. So, you going out, right? No, hell no. Why? I'm not gonna go just because he asked me out, just because. <laughs> or, uh, I don't know. It depends on how much he begs. <laughs> just. <laughs> Guess what? What? Don't do that! Kate got us tickets to the Terrence Bay concert tonight! Nice. I thought it was sold out! It was, but her parents came through. So, go get dressed. Now, you know, I got a lot of reports and study you need to do, so I have to stay here. Whatever. I'm sorry. Yes, go ahead and call James so you can get your vitamin D. Uh, get out of my house. <laughs> Thank you. Make sure you take a shower before you do this. I don't like two wild bears with the rest of me a thousand degree weather. I love you. I don't love you. You leave me here terrified with the ghosts and stuff in my house. Thank you. <laughs> Ugh, I do 
Just meet y'all there. Well, hurry up, it ain't gonna take me long to get there. Okay, I'll see you later. So what do you think? Yeah, you're right. I like it. It looks really good on you. It's really good. It's you. Thank you. I knew you'd say that. Come in. Oh! Hey. Late again, I hey. see. Like always. Yeah, whatever. I had a lot going on lately. Mm -hmm. So what happened? You don't really want to hear this? Yeah. No, not really. Just get to the point. Uh, Laura! Ow! Being so rude all the time. But how am I being rude? I do care. Just not about the boy part. It's okay. We all know Laura's dropping her head at work. No, she knows. She knows. Okay. She agrees. Okay, we'll keep going. It's just been some strange things happening. Why? This morning I woke up and I walked in the kitchen and the drawers and cabinets were all open, so I think somebody was in my house last night. You know, it was probably that creepy landlord guy that Laura was telling you. <laughs> Laura! Oh, what? Shh, don't act surprised. You know, I tell her everything just like you tell me everything. On to the interesting part. I can have ghost hunters. Really? Ghosts? Yes, ghosts. Okay. No, seriously, I know somebody that specializes in ghost hauntings. Ghost <laughs> You know what? I don't feel like paying for another Uber. Take me home. Oh, no, let me check. No, I'll, be right home. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Take me home. I don't want to be here no more. Fuck you, Kate. <laughs> well, ma'am, it looks like your door's not fixed. It was about damn time. Every time I come home, my door's unlocked. This is ridiculous. That's the landlord. 
I don't know, I've been calling them all day. A lot of residents have been complaining about them. He needs to be fired. Well, when you see him, can you tell him I'm looking for a place? No, no problem, ma'am. The keys. I'll see you later. Thank you. Stay out of trouble. You stay out of trouble. Babysit? Did you really forget that we're going to see a movie tonight? I mean, we're going to go see a movie that you couldn't stop talking about. Yeah, um, I can't tonight. Ultra busy. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Are, are you kidding me? I drove all the way out here from Sugarland to take you out, and I thought you just fought her. Hmm. Jessica. 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 What? Yeah, whatever. We can go. I just gotta put my shoes on and stuff. Shoes? What? Are you... you mean do something with your hair? I mean. Well, I guess that's enough. I guess I just wasted all this money on damn movie tickets and this rose for you. You're not even ready. How do you think that makes me feel? It's not. Right. I'm out. Okay, bye. You know what, what? What's so damn important that you can't pay attention to me in the first place? Huh? I can prove my brother didn't commit suicide. Something like do you that, remember those three kids that went missing? No, a lot of kids go missing every day. So like 10 or 12 years ago, these three kids went missing. And nobody can ever find their bodies and nobody knows what happened to them. Like I seen this little boy in the apartment tonight and I know this is the little girl that grabbed my arm. Okay, and? And I know what happened to them. So. You're saying you know what happened to a group of kids that went missing years ago. Something that police officers and detectives couldn't even figure out. Really, Jessica, are you psychic now? No, but I... But what? I just told you that I'm seeing them. That you're seeing ghosts in your apartment like, and they're chasing you around like some Pac-Man game. It's not funny. I'm not kidding. I'm being serious. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Well, try to keep up so I don't lose you. So these three kids, they will kill the zombies. Can you just listen? Damn. So they were murdered inside this apartment. And I think the manager has something to do with it. I heard his voice on this USB drive. Wow, I do. Thought about seeing the shrink because you can't go around saying that your apartment is. It's nonsense. No, it's not. It explains why I've been seeing them everywhere and why it's been getting cold as hell in here and why stuff is just moving around when I'm not around. 
They've been trying to tell you something. And I know the manager did it. That's why he never wants to come in here. All right, well, if you think it's the manager, why don't you call him? What? Call him. See if he was a part of this. Huh? It's a brand new day, and I'm feeling thankful because I'm able to see for having yet another chance and not being on these streets. I love it. some spices. I think I talked to somebody named Lisa. Oh yeah, that's my mom. She's she's not in at the moment, but I'll let her know you stop by. Wait, wait, wait. It was kind of a long drive and it took me a while to get here. Do you mind if I just come inside until she gets back? I don't feel like driving all the way back. Um please. Sure. Why not? Thank you. Do you want some water, tea, cup of coffee? Um, a cup of water would be fine, thank you. I'll be right up. So, how long have you been into spices? Uh, not long. I just recently got into it. Oh, really? Yeah, I like cooking, so I just, you know, kind of feel into it. Thank you. Oh, yeah, same here. My family from Philippines are into spices and recipes. Oh, that's cool. So. Are you like originally from there or here? Mm, it's complicated. I've been there and then back here and then back to Philippines and now I'm back. You move around a lot. So how long has your family been in like spices and that sort of thing? How do you know my mom? I mean like the spices and stuff. Oh, um, a friend referred me yeah, and then I did my research and I found out you know, your mom were into it. So. Oh, well... That's good. Yeah, we've been open for like a couple of years. Yeah. You actually might know my friend that referred me, y'all. Y'all look just alike and y'all got like the same personality and stuff. Really? No, what's her name? Because um, all Asians look alike, right? Her name is Chris. Chris Yeto. <coughs> you okay there, Chris? <coughs> <coughs> uh, my name is Maribeth and um, I do not know anybody. So you mistaken me for somebody else. No, I don't think so. Can you can you sit down? I have to show you something. Okay. What do you know about all of this? Where did you get this? This stuff's supposed to be buried. How how did you find this? How did you find me? Do you recognize this man? No. Are you sure? Look again, look closely. I'm positive I've never seen that guy ever. He knows you because he was researching you and that's where I got all this stuff from. First off, uh, how did you find me and how do you know who I am? My brother died two weeks ago. 
The authority says suicide, but I don't believe that. What does this have to do with me? Here it comes. I found this. Um, where did you get this? My brother found it in an apartment that he died in. The apartment Thomas stayed in. Don't, don't say his name. And before he died, I think my brother was looking for you. Me? Yes, you. I think he wanted answers. You're the lone survivor. You killed that bastard. Do you remember any other children that died? Yes. We were all friends at school. And the guy's name was Mr. Sims. He was our school teacher. And he liked all four of us. We were like his shining stars, as he called us. I don't get it. Well, he said we were lacking in math, so he wanted us to tutor with him. And even then, it was, it was like he was into magic, but uh, he would show magic tricks in the morning, and only four of us would actually like it, so I'm pretty sure he took a liking in us. Magic? Like, black magic? Yeah, kinda like that. Um, when all the kids went missing and it was my turn to tutor with him, uh, he gave me snacks and drinks and I blacked out. But I guess it wasn't enough because I remember him tying me up. So yeah, and somebody knocked at the door and he went to go open it. And then you escaped. Yeah, and I grabbed the nearest object. Yeah, I grabbed it and I hit him with it. I just bashed his freaking head with it. Uh, and then when I decided to stop, he mumbled some bullshit words. Then he died. No. You only think he died. Creepy, ain't it? Can't okay, can I see your keys, please? Yeah. Thank you. Who's Mary Beth? Nobody, just a friend. What's all this? Well, speaking of Mary Beth, I've been talking to her because she's into all this stuff. And I've been researching and reading a lot of books, so I think I found a way to stop the ghosts. The ghosts? The ghosts I told you about, Kate? The ones in the apartment? Right. Okay, so I read online that we can use these candles to bless the apartment. Bless the apartment? Don't you need priests and holy water for that? Do you believe in God? Mm, yeah. Okay, then we're fine. That's what the internet said. That's what the internet said. Yep, the internet's always ready. What's that? This is... This is what I need. This is the book of spells I need for the exorcism. Um, the what? The exorcism? Okay, look. Laura told me about some of the things that have been going on here. I think the smartest thing for you to do would just be to leave. Leave everything in it. I can help you get new stuff. Leave and go where, Kate? I can't leave my brother's spirit locked in here. And the ghosts need my help. All right. So the instructions I read said that after we bless the apartment and we prepare the spells, we have to provoke his spirit in this blue bottle. That's hey, 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 hey. Be careful, that's the only one I could find. All right. 
How are we supposed to provoke his soul? I don't know, I didn't read that far. We gotta like curse him, damn him, the spell. I don't know, but we gotta get Moses inside this bomb. Moses. Like from the Bible? Moses is named the ghost kid. Okay, so I read that we gotta hang this bottle on a crepe myrtle tree. It like captures the souls of the damned. So I researched and it's like a tree like that at a park that's not too far from here. So after we provoke his soul, we can go hang it. This bottle is important. The element of blues from the water in the sky create a pathway from the heaven and the earth, you know, like the living and the dead. So when we hang this bottle on the tree, it interacts with the unknown powers of both the creative and destructive souls. Okay, that's a lot of information to take in seriously. It's not. We're talking about performing an exorcism. An exorcism by yourself. You're here to help me, ain't you? Well, yeah, but I don't know the first thing about performing an exorcism. We can't do this alone. You need to call whoever sent you this stuff and tell them to help us. I mean, I can do it. I've been reading up on it and I watch a lot of exorcism movies. Okay, so we're gonna do this off of some stuff that you read online and seen in some movies? Just no. It doesn't work like that. We, we cannot do this by ourselves. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is Jessica. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, I just got home. I got the box you sent and the links right. you sent me. Thank you. Um, but I'm sitting here with my friend Kate, Kate Marybeth, Marybeth Kate. Hi. Hi. Anyways, we were going over all the information, and like I said, I've been researching and reading up on it. But I think what well, well, we think that it's just it's too much for just us to handle, and I can't do this by myself. I'm exhausted. I, I will pay you to come and take care of the problem for you. Absolutely not. I, I can't help you. That's not my problem. What do you mean you can't help me? Does this, this, everybody just think I'm going out of my mind? I mean, my brother killed himself in the apartment I'm living in. These ghosts are hunting me, torturing me. I can't eat. I can't sleep. And all I'm asking is for you to come over here and help me, please. No, it's not my problem. Please help us, Mayba. Please, we can't, we can't do this alone. Look, I'll, I'll think about it. Oh. I'll think about it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. You can think about it. No problem. Um, so we'll be doing the exorcism probably tomorrow, and we'll be doing... Hello? Hello? So rude. Yeah, she hung up. Okay. Um, before you go, can you do me one more favor? What? Can you take me to the store to get the materials I need for the spells? Like one of those spell stores? The creepy ones with the voodoo and the creepy lady behind the counter with the saggy boobs? Okay. You have a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Give go. me a gas, man.
told you about? She finally called me back. Did she? She thinks she found a way to stop him. She's gonna like email me some stuff and send me some stuff, so hopefully it stops his ass. Moses. He goes by Moses. Can you believe that? It's like a joke. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Are you sick or something? So last night, I highlighted some spells that we need. Right, hold that. Okay, this one's yours. This is mine. Yeah, where are the crosses? I don't know. Why are you asking me? What do you mean you don't know? I told you to get crosses. When did you tell me to get crosses? At the store! How was I supposed to bless the apartment with no crosses? You should. Are you expecting this money? No. Did you call the Lord? I 
Moses. What do you want? What do you want? and repeat after me when I start talking. Kate, hey, pay attention. I need you to read this and repeat after me when I start talking, okay? Okay? Okay. 
we'll just try to read it home, okay? Okay, I will. Nice haircut, by the way. Thank you. Uh, don't be so friendly. I like that you cut your hair, too. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I just don't want any reminders of Moses. Oh, well. You look better with your hair cut like this anyway. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. I love you. I love you, too. Just happy that we can get on with our normal lives. Normal? Yeah, normal. Were we ever normal? No, probably not. <laughs> yeah, me too. Do this. We can finally get rid of this Please. once and for all. I actually know a lake. We can go dump it at. Okay, just dump it. No one will ever know. No one. What lake? It was a lake that I went with, you know, fishing with my dad. You been going without me? I was with I was with my dad. Yeah. I'm not gonna bring you along. You know? uh, say by the ring. Uh oh. Are you gonna answer that? Hello. Hey, Mary Beth. Hi, Mary Beth. Hey, you, you still have the camera? Yeah, of course we still have the camera. Meet me somewhere with it. I have something to show. Uh, you. yeah, we can meet up with you. Where and what time? Now, at my place. Okay. So, Mary Beth wants us to meet up with her. She says she has something to show us. Okay. So, are we going to go? I guess we have to. All right. <sighs> No, Never had Take your soul. 